Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville in my Tundra again. I wanted to show you guys about customizing your 12.3 dash. So your instrument cluster, that's the 12.3 screen. You can actually customize it really cool. So um, however you want it, you can make it. I'm gonna show you real easy ways to customize that. So if you kind of take a look here, this is how it looks direct from the factory. So you'll notice that your RPMs are out here and you have a digital speedometer on the right, or on the uh, center there. On the right side, you have your uh, your gauges like that. I'm gonna show you how to customize those as well. And then obviously you have on your left side, the, uh, you know, whatever type of, you know, miles per gallon, distance to empty, things like that that you want. This is all fully customizable. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to here, right? You can see all these buttons that are right here. So you got your up, down, left, right, and then your back button. Those are all gonna be important here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the right button, all right? And when I'm hitting the right button, you see how I'm going through these menus on the left side right here, right? I'll just keep hitting it, go through these menus. What you wanna to get to is this gear. So I got this gear that's right here, all right? Once you get to that gear, it's actually easier to go up, but I'll go down so that I can show you. So that's your lane tracing that turns on or off your pre-collision system. That'll turn on or off your blind spot monitor. That'll turn on or off your parking sensor. So the beeps when you're getting close to something, That'll turn off your rear cross traffic alert. Rear cross traffic alert is if you're backing up, you'll get a beep, beep, beep if somebody's coming behind you. Um, so that's what that is. Next one down, that's road sign alert. So it's actually gonna look for the road signs and it'll put your road signs right above the speed limits, uh, or your, uh, your speed limits and stuff like that, right above where your speedometer is right there. Um, and then you can customize right side. So customize right side, if you hit this button and you, you press and hold right here, all right, so when you press and hold, now you can see you can go into your boost gauges, which is what this is, right? Press and hold again, go into pitch and roll. So now you can see what pitch and roll does, right? I'm gonna press and hold that center button again. Toe gauges, so you can see what your cut toe gauges do, right? And then you can just turn them off completely. So if you don't want them there, turn them off. Um, personally, I've kind of grown accustomed to these, so I like these, right? Um, so the next one down, you got your trailer settings. Uh, trailer light check, where I showed you how, how that works. You actually check your trailer lights without needing any help. Vehicle settings, so if you press and hold the OK button again, which I pressed and hold that button again, now you can have your tailgate alert. So if you're driving with your tailgate down for, you know, you've got cargo, something like that, if you want to turn that tailgate alert on or off, you just hit that OK button again, you can turn that off. Rear seat reminder, and if you don't want the rear seat reminder to come back up, turn that off. Tire pressure warning system, right? So if you hit the tire pressure warning system, you can set your pressure, identify each wheel in position, setting the unit. So you can actually set PSI, stuff like that. Identify which rims on which wheel. You can do all of that, right? So very, very easy. And you scroll down to those here, right? Um, schedule maintenance. That's if you want to reset your maintenance. Boom, it'll say reset data, yes or no. I'm gonna hit no because I don't wanna reset that. Um, oil maintenance, there you go. That's all in your vehicle settings, all right? Once again, I'm gonna hit the back button. All right, so now I'm back to that first screen and I'm coming down to settings. Now this is the one I really wanna show you guys. Press and hold this okay button again. Okay, and now you can see that I've changed it. So this sets your language. So if you wanna change your language to English, Francais, or Espanol, you can do that. I'm gonna hit my back button again. Units, so if you wanna change it to kilometers, miles, you know, miles per gallon, or, or sorry, miles per gallon, miles per hour, you wanna change anything like that, you can definitely do that, All right? We're gonna hit this back button again, and now you get down to speed meter. This is what's really good. And I hit the OK button again to get to the next level. So you've got digital, which is where we're at right here, right? So I just hit the OK. It's there. Now let's go to analog. Boom, right? So now you've got the analog in here. And actually, when you do the um, the analog, you're actually going to have sorry, in the center speed meter here. So you can do analog and digital, all right? So you've got three things that you can do so if you want to have your speedometer on the outside, you can do that with a digital speedometer in the middle. There, there's nothing wrong with that, right? If you wanna just put digital and now you've got your RPMs on the outside, right? If you wanna hit your analog, now you got your RPMs on the outside and then you have an RPM gauge for the center. So as you're, you know, I'm gonna hit, hit the gas here a little bit, see if I can get the engine to start. Now you can see your 
um, you've got some RPMs that are here and they just drop down. Um, note this too, this is the hybrid, all right? So I've got the vehicle running, as you can see by the ready right here. There's no RPMs and there's no oil pressure. You'll notice that on the hybrid. It will shut that off while you're driving down the road. So you could be driving down the highway and coasting and all of a sudden you'll see no oil pressure, no RPMs. It's fine, don't panic. And the reason I say that is because I looked at it and I panicked. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I don't have any oil pressure. And my wife was talking to me and she's like, you're not listening to me. And I was like, nope, um, that, that was the wrong answer. Anyway, um, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, as soon as I said there was no oil pressure, she goes, that doesn't sound good. Realize we're, in a, we're in, a, in a hybrid. I wasn't used to actually driving this kind of a hybrid, right? So realize that, just, just saying, all right? Follow me on that one. But, um, and then don't say, don't agree that you're not listening to, you, you get it. Anyway, um, all right, so we're gonna pop back over here. So I'm back in the speed meter. This is the one that I like. Now you'll also notice that there's eco up there. So if you come down here, you can actually change that. So if I change that from eco, I can go into a normal drive mode. Now you'll see it still shows me my RP or my uh, speed limit up there, um, but it's flipped back and now the eco is gone, right? If I flip it again, right, then, and it'll change it to where it says sport here now, right? And now this says sport and the dash looks a little bit different, right? So depending on what you're in, um, I'll go back to eco just because I'm doing a, uh, a, a test on driving an eco mode here, but, uh, um, if you look at it too, by the way, I'll just kind of pop back over. If you see this, you're going to notice all these shocks and stuff. If you have the air ride suspension, you'll also get a sport plus and a comfort mode. Um, and that's from the air ride suspension that you'll get that. So, um, just really easy to change everything. I'm going to pop down here into the leaf, right? So the leaf, and then I go into fuel economy. All right, so what I can do here is I can adjust the trip. So do I wanna know a trip average, a total average. So I can go in here and say, all right, so now I've got total average fuel economy. And as soon as I pop out of here and, I, and I'm just popping out with this back button and these buttons, and I go over here, now it'll show me total average fuel economy. So my total average fuel economy in 1400 miles has been 17.1 miles per gallon. That's going up by the way, guys, cause it started at 15. It, it's going up. So I'm, I'm watching that pretty, pretty uh, good, but you can hold okay and reset that button. I'm just leaving that just because I'm kind of curious as to where it'll go. But once again, if I want to, I'll come back over here and I'm gonna go backwards, right? To settings again, I'm gonna go up. Since I went up, now I'm right at the settings menu and I'm gonna pop back over to eco, hit fuel economy, come down to tank average, which is the one that I like to have. Um, that way I can kind of watch and I'll hit my back button again and then I'll pop over here and now you can see this switch to tank average so then you can see how you're driving per that tank. Um, you can also do it for trip so you basically reset it and you're watching it on that trip so say you're making a trip to you know grandma's house for the for Christmas or something like that you might want to know that that's on there but like I said you can customize so much on this screen that it is really, really, really fun to use. Um, by the way, you can also see you have your compass if you wanna leave a compass there. If you wanna have like your radio come through, there's your radio and, I, and I'm just hitting this right button right here. Um, if you wanna do this, now this is your trailer, right? So if you're doing anything with your trailer, um, you can have everything set here, no trailer selected. You can change your length. You can see I've got it set to auto. So if I hook something up, it'll automatically detect the length. Um, Let's see, you can see a trip distance. So how long you've been on there? Um, you can see there are your tire pressures. So I got a little bit of extra pressure in my left front. So um, no problems, right? <laughs> but that's oddly enough, if you can see where the sun is, the sun's over here, it's likely that that could be caused because that one's the only one that's in the sun. So always note that too. So if you have different heats on different tires, it can cause that. I'll check that tonight just out of my own curiosity and I bet you it'll be less. Um, just because right now we're 48 degrees and this one has the sun on it. So um, you'd be surprised how that works. <laughs> but uh, we're back into to this one that I was just talking about earlier. Um, when I go over again, you'll see this triangle. Sometimes that triangle will pop up, um, it shows 
no messages right now, but it could show that your maintenance was due. It could show that you had a tire pressure issue. It could show a lot of things. So all that's right there. And then obviously on the bottom, you have your battery voltage, your oil pressure, your fuel, and then your temperature are down there. Um, you see the P over here to the right. As you shift, that'll go into a different gear that's right there. Your Eco stays up here and then up there, of course, if you have it in Eco. Everything's real easy. 10.30, that's the time here. So in case you're wondering on that, but uh and then this by the way this is your i force max so your uh, pressure off of your turbos is right there all right and you're not always getting high pressure from your turbos so i've noticed that gauge will go up and down as you know if, if you really mash it that gauge will go way up if you don't then it it doesn't tend to go too high um the other thing you'll notice is that this one now what you'll get is you'll get a blue um outline that'll come up there so especially when the oil pressure is not not uh um active basically meaning your engine's not on it will go off of the uh electric as much as it can so um if you mash the gas pretty hard the engine turns right back on but i've had times where i'm in stop and go traffic you just ease on to the to the um the gas and you'll move forward in that and you'll stay in electric almost the whole time while you're doing that so um as soon as you hit the gas and it knows that it needs a little bit more the engine will turn back on so um, it's just kind of cool to know that uh, you can just run off of complete battery when you are in this particular vehicle right when you're in the, the iForce Max so of course this is going to be accurate on your Tundras um, and on your Sequoia so it's going to be accurate on both of them so um, you definitely want to uh, to make sure that you know uh which vehicle that you have uh and this engine just started again so it needed a little bit right um but you want to know which vehicle that you have uh the tundra the sequoia um uh and then I'm, i know they're going to have more and more that are going to come out with the 12 3 dash so i'm going to have it just you know this like uh, the title that you would have saw is customizing the 12 3 dash in your toyota or uh, the 12 3 instrument cluster in your toyota it's gonna be something like that um but that's why it's going to look that way because this is going to be uh, pretty common uh, coming forward so um, it is only in the limited hybrid and then all of the trim levels above that hybrid or not hybrid um, if you know everybody knows I have a limited that's uh, paying attention to this channel limited hybrid is the only one that got this in the limited so if you have a regular limited saying I don't have that no, no, it was an option it wasn't an option the only way to get it was to go up to the hybrid or to a 1794 or a platinum or a pro of course uh, which pros are all hybrid as well so um, if you went up to one of those you could get the 12.3 screen other than that limited hybrid and above um, now i'm just rambling so you guys definitely like and subscribe i appreciate everyone you guys and hopefully that helped you to know how to customize your 12.3 screen on your instrument cluster in your new toyota steve watch beam and toyota you guys have a great day talk to you next time bye